Well, I just wonder how much you self-analyse your own game in terms of the goals and your uh, assists and how you feel you're at this season. Um, I do that every single game. Um, obviously, when you play a game, you want to come off with assists and goals and I feel I need to improve that part of my game and I just want to analyse and just see where I can improve that side of my game, so yeah. Is there something, a constant dialogue with the coaching staff you have? Yeah, um, every single day I want to improve, so I went and spoke to the gaffer and said that like, where can I improve, how can I improve like with my technique, etc. So, yeah. Craig Vickers, uh, go ahead, please. Bon, Joe. Um, the last last time you <coughs> got points before Sunday was Hibs away back in September. Um, you responded with obviously 15 wins in a row in the league. Are you confident you can produce another winning run like that again? Um, I think the thing with us is we just want to take every game as it comes, one by one. Like We don't want to look at going on long runs because we just know every single match day that comes, we just have to get the three points and put in a good performance as a team. Andy, go ahead. And Joe, uh, I just wonder what, how much a boost that is to have um, Brian Jack back in the team this week. He's obviously such an influential player on the team. Yes, yeah, massive having Jack all back. Um, the boys are buzzing that he's back in training. You see the intensity in training going up as he joins us back. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's good to have him back. Mark, go ahead. Mark McDougall. Word, Joe. Uh, last week, Stephen Davis made his 300th appearance for the club. What have you learned from playing alongside Data over the last year or so? Um, just seeing everything he does, like in and around the building, uh, when we're on recovery, like you just see him in the gym. He's a wonderful pro, and you can see why he's doing all of that, why he's played 300 games, etc. Because he's just like the model pro, and he's like a role model to me also. Uh, Charles, please. Hello, Joe. Um, this week, the Celtic manager essentially suggested that the title was beyond them. How do you, as players, block out that distraction, that inevitable noise that is going to gather over the coming weeks? Um, I think all we have to do is literally, like I said before, just take every game as it comes. We're not really focused on the noise that's going on outside of it because Essentially, the only thing that's important is the football, so we just have to take every game as it comes along. David Edgar, please. Uh, Joe, the manager spoke last week about the, the, the team being a little slow to start. How is it, in terms of a player, how difficult is it to, to just go out there and be right on it from the start? And what can you do to, to make sure that it is a quicker start this week? Um, I think... We just need to have our mindsets right. I mean, maybe we're going into the games wrong, but we just need to start fast, a good warm up also, and then just take it into the match. Uh, Andrew, go ahead, please. Hi, Joel. It was obviously tough conditions last week with the, the Motherwell pitch. The manager talked about how the Ibrox pitch isn't in the best condition at the moment. In terms of your own game, how do you have to adapt your own game when you're playing in these types of surfaces at this time of year? Um, I think for me, personally, um, I can't really use an excuse of a pitch because I've played in much worse pitches and where I've come from I've played on worse pitches. So I just think for me it's like an easy excuse to blame a pitch. Obviously sometimes like the ball might bubble up and whatnot, but for me it's just not a good excuse for me to use personally.